So now that we have our vector layer, we're going to look at how we can interact with the features in that layer. So returning to our file, I've gone ahead and added an extra feature. You can see here the code is exactly the same as the first feature, except for the location is different. So we have the coords2 variable and this location, which is actually West Lafayette, Indiana. For those of you who have been trying to place my accent, now you know. It's half British, half Hoosier. We have a few years of Oklahoma thrown in for good measure. So we're simply creating the point two variable using the coords2 value. We're creating feature2 built on the geometry of point2. And then we're setting the ID on feature2 to be West Lafayette. And we're using the same style that we used for the Hornsey feature. Then I've added the feature2 to the features array in the vector source. So now when we refresh the map, we can see West Lafayette has the same icon as Hornsey. Now the reason I added this extra feature is that we're going to talk about handling mouse clicks. And what I want to be able to do is click on either one of these icons and get the name of the location, which we passed as the ID of the feature. So let's look at how we would do that. So in order to handle the click event of the mouse, we need to add an event handler. But instead of adding an event handler to each feature, we're actually just going to add a single event handler to the map. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add the onClick event handler to our map. So in this anonymous function for the click handler, I'm going to paste some code. So what we're doing here is calling the for each feature at pixel method of the map. Now this method takes a pixel, in this case the pixel that we clicked on, and for each feature that it finds that intersects that pixel, it calls the callback function, which is the second argument. Here we're using another anonymous function, and it passes it the feature and the layer to which that feature belongs. In the inner anonymous function, we're simply popping up an alert which displays the ID of the feature, which we access through the feature.getID method. So I'm going to refresh. And now I click on this and I get West Lafayette as expected. I click on the other and I get Hornsey. So we've successfully added click event handling to our map. Now we have everything we need to know to finish the catch the hacker game. So we'll do that in the next lesson.